Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Carmen Shepard. We're on the Citadel right now. Shepard came over here mainly to meet with Captain Anderson, who sent her a note saying he wanted to talk to her. But we, for metagaming reasons, we came over here really to shop. That's why we came over here. But for story reasons, we came over here to meet with the captain. So let's meet with him and get our uh, Spectre status back. Shepard, welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. But you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems, and I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI on Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. The original council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor, like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you.
Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Yeah, she wouldn't ask. I don't think any of my shepherds really would re want to ask him to come along. They're not going to bring their former commander along. They're in command now. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could Whoa. do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Did you see that Elcor just disappear out there? That was weird. All right, let's go back and get a discount at the gift shop. This is depressing. How about we find a Turian and beat the crap out of him? That always makes you feel better. All I'm saying is that these mementos will help me remember the happy times we've shared even after you're gone. Fine, whatever. I don't care anymore. You've ruined the Citadel for me. Fish it is. <laughs> Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a Spectre. That is quite a prestigious role. It is my pleasure to extend the government employee discount to you, Spectre. Please, feel free to check the updated prices. Yeah, well, we'll get around to buying the Space Hamster and the fish later. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now? <laughs> this is depressing. How about we find this easy to beat the crap out of Okay, let's go back to Norman. We got we picked up some things to give to people. So, let's do that.
tell you what, let's give the cook his stuff first, and then we'll go talk with Chakwas. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. To Jenkins, to Presley, and to Elenko. May they never be forgotten. Alright, now we got an upgrade that we can't do anything with until we get the professor. So that's our next task is go to Omega and get the professor. Still drunk. Oh, no. Shepard just straightened up. <sighs> I'm going to mark off a couple plants here. save that one over there for later because it's got a bunch of minerals we can scan but right now we just want to get on to Omega
Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Yes, yes. Too bad you keep saying the guy, same goddamn thing until we get those missions done. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Omega. What a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh, annoyed. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. Go on in. Arya's expecting you. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, Shepard don't like Batarians. I 
That's close enough. Stand still. Try it and you'll be scanning the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. All right, let's head on down. Well, we got stuff to do first. Gonna go shopping again. you and some salvage tech every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock I buy a lot of parts and equipment maybe we can make an arrangement well you seem like a decent person but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry of course then we have a deal maybe I'll at least sell something to you what brought a nice kid like you to Omega my pilgrimage what money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. 
I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. What do you got? I know you got heavy weapon and heavy skin weave. Oh, I need that for the engineers. Mm, I don't know that, that that's cr that critical. That'd be nice, but it's really expensive. Let's just save our money for now. Need companionship, but want something more than a one night arrangement? Work your help. Get to those relationships with creative one purpose to connect lonely clients with a little bit of a face. Choose from a lot of I lost Jacob's talk point because of this idiot over here. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Mm, not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. I'll just be going. I not kill anyone today. Tell him. And I lost Jacob's talk point because of that idiot. I might have something here for humans. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you'd just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. <laughs> Ah, uh, should we get these? Yeah, let's get those. Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the consort, may be leaving the citadel. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory, to show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Okay, let's get that. And that. I mean, it takes half a second off your recharge time on your shields, which is, it takes five seconds of not being shot for your shields to regen. That'll reduce it down to 4.5. And I think that might be useful. And I always buy this thing. Even though I generally don't need it. The only thing I could think that I might want, there's the heavy weapon and the heavy skin weave. That's 100k. I'm not sure how much money we're going to get from Warden's mission. And of course then there's the post horizon stuff as well. But certainly if I do Liara's hacking mission, I would want to have this. Yes, yeah, since we're going to buy it eventually, anyway, this is let's, valuable. Let's just get it right now. The hunt is on for Omega's public enemy number one, and this time there is no escape. Our groups from all over the planet systems are recruiting for assaults on the notorious market and attempt to kill the meddling bastard. Who is he? Who gives a shit? He'll be dead. I heard 
heard you spoke to Harry. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. It'll buy me some morality points. It's always good to have morality points. It's like 200, 200 credits per morality point, so yeah, that's a good price. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Yeah, $200 per morality point. I'll pay that. <laughs> okay, well... We've done... Well, there's still a little tiny thing we can do. We can go get a drink at a bar and then kill this Batarian. Uh, how much money do we have? 68,000. And how many ex experience do we need? 300. Yeah, we're alright. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with the Batarian bartender later.